Ever heard of the off-sided next wave of development, the micro backend architecture? Well, let me introduce you to its bleeding edge twin, the micro front end. Today, we're gonna to be talking about single spa, one of the best ways to implement this structure and also the pluses and cons of using this style of architecture for your application. Single spa is a JavaScript framework that allows you to build micro front ends, a modern way of building web applications where different features are built and deployed as standalone applications or micro apps within a larger structure. The main feature of Single Spa is that it helps the coordination and integration of these different micro applications in order to allow for a more seamless experience on the user's end and for the developer. One of the key features of Single Spa is that it allows you to load your micro applications on demand rather than all at once when you load the page. This improves performance and scalability because you're only loading the applications that you actually need to at a given moment, rather than loading an entire massive monolithic application. It also provides a set of APIs that allow you to manage the different life cycles of your micro apps from loading, unloading, or reloading different applications as needed. Single Spa also provides a lot of plugins which can help extend its functionality. For instance, there's a React plugin that allows you to implement a React application inside a Single Spa wrapper. There's also many other plugins for other other common front-end frameworks such as Angular, Vue, or Svelte. So that gives us kind of a brief overview of the main player in the micro front-end space so far. But before we go ahead and add single spot to our applications, let's do a little discussion of what the overall micro front-end architecture gives us as an application developer. So zooming out, a broader definition is that a micro front-end is essentially a central landing point at your site URL that is loading different features, pages, or applications within the larger site structure, but each one is functioning as an independent code repository or an independent development project. So one of the main benefits of micro front-end architectures is the ability to maintain and scale your application more easily. So when you have a monolithic application in a more traditional development environment, a small change could potentially impact the entirety of your web deployed web application and cause errors across your site that you then have to go through and fix. In contrast, when you're in a micro front end environment, each of your different pages or features or bits of functionality are broken out into separate applications that are deployed individually. So when you're making a change to one part of your application, you know that you're not gonna take down another part of it because it's in a totally different code base. So this allows you to make quick changes to small applications at a much faster rate rather than waiting and building it out an entire monolithic change just to discover that you've caused a bug across the entire site. One of the other big issues with monolithic front-end development is that if you have multiple teams operating inside of an organization, there has to be a lot of coordination between those teams in order to make sure that no one's making changes that break other people's work. In contrast, when you have a micro front-end structure, we're gonna have a better time working with multiple teams because each team is essentially owning one feature or one micro application within the larger micro front-end structure and allows them to make changes independent of one another without potentially breaking other people's code. Another major strength of a micro front-end architecture is better encapsulation of complex components because we can break those components out rather than having them be just in the same code base where an update is required to update the entire application. We can break it out into its own code base and allow deployments to just that component inside the larger micro front end structure, making it easier to change and modify features and more complex specific components inside of our application. Another great example where this architecture shines is when we're adding new features to our application. When we're adding a new feature or migrating to a new technology, or even if we wanna start development in a totally different front end framework, we can still integrate all those changes within a micro front end structure. Because it allows us to use a React or an Angular or a Vue framework for a micro application within a larger micro front end, then we're able to push into new technologies or update to new versions of those technologies much more easily and do it in a tested manner in a small section of our site before we roll out that change or we modify the entire rest of our site. In many cases, we may not even need to migrate off of old versions if a site is a simple static page and instead could just migrate a more complex component to a newer version of whatever framework we want or to move it to a new or different framework in order to better increase our development speed. Now, before you go and rebuild your application as multiple micro apps, let's talk about some of the downsides that could impact you if you're going through this development process. So one of the biggest issues in a micro front end architecture is that it does require additional communication and stricter definitions of what each of your components is expecting as an input value. For instance, if we have a complex component inside of a traditional monolithic front end framework, that is well defined by the TypeScript definitions or whatever you have inside that component. Versus when we move it into a micro front end, it's closer to an API interaction. And so we need to make sure that is well defined and well documented. So if one team is pushing changes to the larger code base, it isn't gonna lead to a cryptic or difficult to diagnose bug inside your micro front end system. 
Another major downside of this style of architecture is that it does add an additional layer of complexity over top your deployment strategy. Once we're managing a bunch of different micro apps, we're gonna have a lot of different deployments going on at once. We're gonna have a bunch of different systems integrating with each other. The deployment strategy in the cloud may become more complex and you may have more handshakes going on between those applications. Tools like Single Spot can help and assist this a little bit, but it is worth noting that there is still an additional layer of complexity that's being added by these changes. Another major downside of this is potential in-app latency. So because we're loading things on demand versus a traditional monolithic application that's generally loading the majority of its code all at once when you load to the page, we're kind of trading smaller load windows throughout a user experience versus having a long load at the beginning of an application load. So in a traditional monolithic application, we might have a certain set of time where it's loading at the beginning, but then throughout most of the code has been loaded. And so it's easier for users to navigate without any network latency in their experience. And in contrast, a more modern micro front-end architecture is going to have an issue where as we go through the different application, maybe we're loading different complex components as we go through and we're navigating different pages, there is an additional loading step that's happening each time we bring in one of those on-demand micro apps. The last big note to make within these drawbacks is it really just isn't a system built out for smaller applications. It's best suited by more dynamic and maybe multi-page applications that have more complex behaviors or have a greater integration of features in one central location as opposed to a more a smaller project or static site that you may be developing as a personal project, is probably not a great candidate for implementing a micro front end because it's just gonna add a ton of complexity overhead to the development of your project. So keep that in mind as well. It is best suited for a larger, more complex implementation versus a smaller one. So thanks for watching this video on single spot and the trade-offs of a micro front end architecture. I hope you found it informative. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to stay up to date on what's next in web development. I'll have more content on the web and front-end development in general coming soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.